Heck yeah, dude. Episode 51. Yep. Ooh, getting there. Rolling. Heck yep. yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since we've... Been doing this for a bit. We have been doing it for a bit. We've had a couple guests on and jumped online, and it's been a while since we've sat down and like done a couple projects. And oh yeah, let's look know. at some uh, some cool vectors, you know? Yeah, client work, uh, one moto show getting ready for. We mm -hmm. have an event coming up ourselves. Well, you guys did that walkthrough. I hadn't been on since you guys, you know, talked about oh, that yeah. last. Yep. Super fun. Yeah. Crazy to you know, you guys probably just watched the video and it's like, oh yeah, yeah that's like really cool. But yeah. the experience, you know, from our perspective, you know. We're usually we're never acting, you know what I mean? So we had to do some <laughs> totally. acting. You know, I think Jake, how many times did we film that? Like eight times? That was a good seven or eight. Seven or eight takes. Seven takes, seven, you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought yep. the first one was fire, but we did yeah. it seven times just because you, you have to. Yeah. Um I think the one that played was just one take. Yeah. Uh, there's right? no Wasn't no it? trickery. Yeah. So yeah, one yeah. take, that's gnarly. At one Dave point, Dave's on a skateboard and eats shit super hard. Dave went down. Dave yep. went down pretty good. So yeah, just just funny, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, even like initially some of the audio, our plan was to have no audio on there. Yeah. And then Jake just did a cool edit where he kind of muted us talking and it ended up working awesome, yeah. you know? It was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I sent it recently to a client. Um that I hadn't talked to in a long time. And he was like, dude, that thing was so cool. Like, it's cool to see the inside of the studio and, and everybody and get a vibe of like, you know, where you guys are and what you're doing. So totally, it definitely helps, you know? Um, I know I, I like to see like, even, even if it's a client, like it's oh, cool yeah. to see either like their building, their environment, you know, who you're working with, you know, if you can see their desk, like, cool, like, oh shit. Okay. That person I'm emailing, I have an idea of where they're sitting or what they're doing, totally. you know, today. So, I mean, team culture is massive, you know what I mean? And, and any entity that, that exceeds has to have some sort of awesome team culture. So it's like yeah. just showing a little bit behind the curtains of, of yeah. what it is here, you know, to, and just yeah. to show that is is so cool you know even richard was like he he was in the pool you know shooting pool and yeah. i guess he said he scratched every single time during the <laughs> filming process so it's like it's just a different thing for us Fun, you know yeah. what i mean like yep. spend a couple hours filming that so yeah yeah just yeah, pretty cool. cool even though we got on the roof after pop the drone up you know oh yeah that's right it ended with the the roof yeah right. yep. yeah it was cool we did some work for lando norris the f1 driver this was a while back over a year ago lando norris picks up yeah, super fun project. Um, when they called, um, you know, we kind of follow a lot of two-wheel sports. So some yeah. of the four-wheel sports were not, you know, they, they run kind of, you know, next to each other. So it was kind of like, oh, shit, let's look into this, see what this is all about. But their mood board was really cool. They wanted a really cool look. It was very, like, you know, forward and technical. So yeah. sometimes, like, we always battle, like, oh, is this too simple? Do uh, we need to do more? You know, so this was something where you can get away with doing something a little more simple. Yeah, um, on the tech side and totally, yeah. you know, so it, it was a lot of fun, yeah. you know, and the fact that that they took a bunch of it and were hyped on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just a fun project overall. Yeah, he's a young dude just killing it. Yeah, yeah, I think he's top five, you know, yeah. the youngest one out there. So it's, it's pretty yeah. cool to see even like that whole industry is like very corporate, very like kind of stiff and boring. So it seems like he's bringing that youth, you know, fun to it. Yeah. And with that, they have the ability to make F1 so much more popular you know Absolutely. what i mean like yep. get the kids in there i mean i think this dude is like also i don't want to say a professional gamer but he's like heavy yo, yo, yo. good heavy gamer game, yeah. so you just this is like what all the kids are into so it's yep. it's just cool to see get uh get some of the younger kids watching auto racing and and shit you know yeah i've always wondered about people like this guy he's an adrenaline junkie for yeah. sure mm -hmm. what if he did a triple on a dirt bike do you think he never <laughs> drives a car again <laughs> i think about that a lot you know it's like yeah you get a, a basketball player slam dunk and they get that adrenaline rush, which is yeah, dope. Yeah. But like the, to me, the max is you do a big jump on a dirt bike. And then I wonder like, do they slowly lose, you know, the love for their original right. adrenaline rush? He's probably like the dirt bikes too slow. Yeah. You, you know, he's well, used to sir. going, I don't need them too fast. Well. Yeah. Yeah. What do I have? F1 cars. Totally. You know, 220, 250. I have no idea. So yeah. Um, but they're fucking hauling ass. Oh yeah. Totally. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. The G forces in the yeah. corner is probably super nuts. Yeah. So he's probably like, yeah, that dirt bike, it's fun, but it's too slow. Yeah. yeah. So Lando, if you're listening, yeah. have yeah. you ever jumped a dirt bike before? <laughs> get just get on curious. a dirt bike. Let yeah. us know. That'd be cool. Your sponsors might not be happy about that, but. <laughs> oh, hell no. Just curious. Uh, cool. So yeah, that was a fun one. Uh, small project, but just uh, kind of a different vibe and cool. Yeah. You know? I mean, good old classic badge kit. You know, yeah. when those come through, it's a lot of fun. Everyone kicks in typically. And uh, yeah. yeah, 
can just show a wide variety of looks. You know, if you got to do one piece, it's sometimes challenging because you're like, man, I could really do A through Z, but I just showing one's a little more difficult. But if you can show A through Z, you're like, oh, I can, you know, get weird on this one, yeah. get safe on this one. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Definitely All fun right. stuff. Uh, talking about two wheels. Um, let's move on to the next project. Hell yeah. So we're back at it with uh, the One Moto Show. So last year was our first time doing the branding for the One Moto Show. We have, uh, Will can tell us, but I think uh, episode, fuck, I don't even know, like 20 or something, uh, we had Tor on. Local legend. Yep, local legend here. He kind of started and mastermind behind the One Moto Show. So he hired us last year to do the branding everything signage ads um apparel. commercial apparel magazine yep yeah magazine moto moto club mag um helmets helmets curation yeah curation of the one uh 21 helmet show awards kind of everything start to finish and it was cool i mean moving here however eight years ago yeah you know coming loving moto and moving here and seeing this stuff it's like oh man we need to be working with that crowd yeah and you know it happened eventually. I wanted yeah. it to happen the first year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It did take five years, but yeah, yeah, it's been great. I mean, these they're just all about fun, humor. Yeah. They're not too serious. Yeah, um, it just makes for a fun project and fun people to collaborate with. You know, even totally. Tor will come in with some ideas for some, you know, anything sticker sheet, and you're like, "Yo, that's what you want!" Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. I, I had to do a sticker that said TGIF. Thank God I farted. <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> You know, I think I was working at home that day and my wife walked in like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, this is work? work today. You know, she's like, you're lying. You're just doing that for yourself. I'm like, no, this is work. Like, that's great. So that's yeah. the fun stuff, you know? Yeah. That's the, yeah. that's what makes it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was fun last year. And then we attended the show and had the motor home and which and that whole deal. So if you like anything two wheels, this is the dopest show I'd say ever. I mean, it's yeah. kind of rivaling some other big shows, but this one's cool because it's, it, it exhibits all these two wheel bikes from yeah. from you know the classic Harley bobber style to yeah. all the way down to the you know the Vespas and yeah. everything in between like there's yeah i mean i think there was like you know some gang members there last time yeah. all the way down to like moms with their yep. with their little puppy in a Vespa so it's like yeah it's cool it's just cool shit yeah it's definitely a show for everybody yeah for yeah. sure yeah it's just a lot of fun all around you know yeah. Yeah, and then so speaking of this logo, um, you know we did last year's, yep. super fun. Uh, this year we wanted to try to do something different. We've seen their history; everything is was is always so much fun. But it's like, man, let's get some gradients in there. Everything's been so vector. Yeah. So wanted to kind of just do something totally different. Um, I was inspired by Terminator Two, the intro, the intro of the movie. You know, he got yep. naked. Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> walks into the bar <laughs> yeah. and whoops up on everybody. <laughs> yeah. Takes the bike, <laughs> but just like that vibe and that feeling in that era it's like yeah. i don't know the year but it's like 1990 or yeah. 89 yeah everything's kind of this like just dark eerie you know he, he steals a fat boy harley yeah. so this is like very much like a fat boy style chrome yeah no it's cool it's definitely a departure from what they've d done in the past totally and Tor mentioned like he wanted kind of this 90s vibe and and everything and yeah you killed it on the the type yeah it was a lot of fun you yeah. know even the gradient made it like yeah it's the one sure. little gradient just yep. makes the whole thing so yeah. yeah so basically right now we're kind of in the middle like we're Deep. head down yeah i think we're a month and a half out or Deep. or something on the show yeah yep yep actually um, yeah so it's kind of crunch time as far as like building out banners Jake, Frankie, and David are going to shoot a commercial tomorrow with uh, with Tor at CC. So it's kind of crunch time um, on that aspect. We have the one Moto Club Mag number two that you're going to start working yep. on. Getting deep on that. Yeah, so uh, 21 helmets. Curated this last year. Asked to do it again this year. So the helmets are out with the artists. So This is what's cool about the show. I mean, you know, usually you have a, a show focusing on bikes and custom bike builds, yeah. which is awesome. But why not have a show within the show and let's focus on helmets? Yep. And, you know, it, to me originally, I'm, you know, it's just kind of random, but very cool. But then yeah. Tor was just talking about how people, you know, they all have the same helmet, uh, let's say a Moto uh, 3 from Bell, yep. and then they'll customize it. And you can customize it all the way again from that 
you know that hell's angels vibe all the way down to like the mom on the vespa with the cute poodle you know yeah um and it's just what you do to it so it's it's a cool concept yeah it hits on all the aspects of the different vibes at the show so it should be kind of cool to see what people come up with you know yeah last year was icon icon helmets you can go on icon's website we can kind of link it um all the helmets are up there from last year so this year it's bell moto three which is an old school dirt bike helmet so totally different vibe totally different look um so yeah it'll be cool super hyped yeah we got a you know bunch of cool people involved in it people i've heard people talk about ideas with some really wild stuff and i'm hoping I'm hoping they they actually do those things. Bryce Wong, we're talking to you. (laughs) You got to do those crazy ideas you told us. Yeah, So Yeah, it'll be cool. Just fun shit all around. And thinking out of the box, like, you know, you could definitely paint on the helmet, but like Dave uh, glued mad pennies. Like you could just get weird with it. You did a uh, a plant. Plant, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So Just sick. Just just having fun. So yeah. Yeah, really excited for the show this year. It'll be cool. Can't wait. Like, yeah. Yeah. So back to the branding. So we, we wrapped up the branding. Dustin uh, did this thing start to finish with the brand book and the whole deal. Um, I feel like it really came to life when you laid it over the photos. Yeah, that's yeah. where. So initially this was just like a, a flat vector logo and they yeah. wanted to see like how it would be executed. So I just, you know, the first time I showed them a couple options of different logos as well. And this one just popped a quick gradient on it. And that piece almost became the forefront and that kind of like was more important than the rest of the pieces. So yeah. we kind of like, okay, yeah, that's, that's a good call. So yeah, setting it over a photo with like a dark ground, just does something fun. Let everything show through. It's not trapped by a black stroke and drop shadow, which we do a lot of that and it, it yeah. makes stuff easy to, to use, but it's like, yeah, let's, let's not do that this time, you know, yeah. do something different. So primarily this should live in a dark ground color. Um, we've pushed and fought, you know, there's a lot of people using this logo across the board. So it's yeah. like trying to give them a kit of like, this is how you use it and don't use it. Yeah. Um, but we do have a version on white. Hopefully, you know, we're not using that too heavy, but those rare cases that you needed on white, um, it's set up for that. But yeah, it just lives so much better on black with like a photo coming yeah. through. And even those two lines kind of racing stripes you did holding off it. of the type that hold the show. Like, I feel like that brought it all together. You totally. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Last year we were using uh, checkers heavy, which, you know, yeah. lends itself to moto. So easy. So it's kind of like a given. Yeah. It's, it's my, the easy. Yeah. I just tax task myself with like, how do I use no checkers? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. so I'm like, well, racing stripes, you yeah. know what I mean? That's it. So, uh, once yeah. the logo was picked, we got to do the poster, had a lot of fun on that. David freaking smashed the bike that, yeah. I don't know. This is like a, I don't even know. 79 Husqvarna 250 um shit's fucking tight yeah. um airbrush style I dropped a bunch of twinkles on top of it and it shit just brought it to yeah. life you know yeah yeah it's cool it's like a totally different take on you know what you would think of an illustration of a dirt bike with it being chromed out and 100% you know, yeah the and then shining down on it yeah, the little spotlights on yeah. there, trying to highlight it. And then they even went, you know, this thing is pretty crazy with gradients and blends and all this and that. And they went and took it a step further and silk screened this poster. So shout out to Seizure Palace yeah. because I feel bad for the color separator. <laughs> like, sorry, dude. Yeah, we got to get some of those in here. They just finished yeah. them, I think, on Monday. Yeah. yeah. And see, you know, initially they're like, hey, we're going to silk screen this. I'm like, shit. Like, I, you know, it's not, nothing's impossible. But yeah. I'm like, damn, I really want to see how this how this turns out and then yeah seeing some images online i'm like oh well they did it yeah, you know so good yeah yeah hype hype to see that in real life you know and shit speaking of posters we got yeah. the other version yeah that's the other version ryan roadkill yeah dude super dope yeah busted something fun so yep. yeah just a fun piece to kind of you know have the the show poster and then the art poster kind of yeah. sit side by side and yeah, that's cool so, sometimes you know, the, these clients will kind of get a lesser art piece and then you're like, man, I'm kind of married up with this, but yeah, I mean, this dude's legit. So to, to yeah. sit side by side with him is it visually awesome. Yeah. You know? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's, uh, let's talk about the, so if you're looking at the screen of the poster, uh, Dustin's been on like a three week battle with, uh, sponsor logos in the bottom. Yo, you're giving me PTSD <laughs> just saying that. I'm like, Oh, is this shit. the most recent one with every single logo it on there? It is. Yeah. It is? Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, how many are on there? There's, 
Uh, like over I mean, 10, 20, there's at Too least many. 30. Double what was last year. So yeah. shout out to whoever was selling sponsorships because <laughs> yeah. y'all Doubled up on killed it. Gnarly. I yeah. did a little challenging for myself, but yeah. we got her done. Yep. You got to have those sponsors for shows, you know, oh, to yeah. support it. And, and then, you know, some clients, you're like, hey, send a Vector logo. And they're like, of course. And they send the, through the, you know, the PNG yeah. with the with the fake transparent background. And it's just on yeah. checker. And maybe the, the circle R, the registration marks in Vector. So they're like, look, it's in Vector. And you're like, yeah. yo, son, like, come on. like, <laughs> Yeah, this is not it. Yeah, it's funny. So that's, you know, just managing and handling 25 files from, you know, less design people. Yeah. It's... uh it's something special, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's tough. <clears throat> Hopefully there's no new sponsors coming through. We'll see how yeah, that, that goes. Yeah, yeah. We get a call quits on that. Yeah. Um and then now you guys updated the billboards, which we'll have a billboard some, somewhere in Vancouver. Yep. Um as well, like we did last year, which is cool. Yeah. 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 With the logo changes we had to update it on, you know, we that's have like seven yeah. sizes, postcards, it's on back hits of shirts, front hits, sleeve hits, billboards wristbands web no. ads yeah so the trickle Probably. effect is is uh not yeah, good a, a lot yeah <laughs> i can see on there and we're like dude just add the one thing to the poster yeah but it's like oh well yeah you know it's gonna continue on yeah, yeah. so but overall it looks good yeah. i mean tour is just the dopest dude so yeah as much as you don't want to add the logos i'm like i'll i'll, I'll add the damn logos yeah. come on send them yeah. through yeah so that's kind of where we're at with the show right now we're gonna do i want to get tour on once the show's over dust is, dust is settled and we got some video and photos from the show get him to come on sit down and kind of talk about the show and how the branding the whole process went again um and then we're rolling into the 15th annual show which that's a big year for them the 15th yeah, year is huge we've been talked about doing a book and, yeah. and everything so let's let's make that happen yeah. so yeah yeah Tor, if you're listening, yeah. let's make the book happen. Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll have we'll have him on here um, after the show's over. Yeah. I mean, in a perfect case, we film it at the, the Zydell yard because that, that facility is so unique and crazy. And yep. yeah, just yeah, the dopest structure alone, you know. We can make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get Will, I, I, Will and Jake out there. And yeah. there's some old shitty desk that one time we were there they have, in the corner. Drag that thing out to the middle yeah. and shoot right there. They got all kinds of random shit there. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yep. All right. Perfect. Fun stuff. Well, cool. Yeah. Uh, follow, I think it's the one moto. Yeah. We'll, dot com or we'll pop it up there. We'll pop yeah. it up there. Yeah. Definitely check it out. If you're in the area, come to the show. Like we said, you don't have to like love or be super into to motorcycles. It's just the, there is like live, um, this year I think they have freestyle motocross. Stunt demos. Yeah. And, yeah. Bands every night. Good so food. car show as well out back and. I mean, hold on. The Cossacks will be there. I didn't really know what that was. I didn't either, yeah. You want to so. see like 12 old men like stand on their <laughs> each other's shoulders on a gold wing that and shit's wild. do some like circus shit? Yeah. Crazy. Like yeah. almost gnarlier than the, the Trials Bike guy, you yeah. know? Yeah, that shit is interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they'll be back. The whole thing is a spectacle. I mean, I have a bunch of friends come and none of them care about motorcycles yeah. and they love the show. It's like, it's just, I don't know, the most unique thing kind yeah. of, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you got you to check it out. So For sure. Come through. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's move on to the next project here. It's like kind of like an action sports uh, episode here or it something. Kind of, right? Yeah. yeah, we got cars. We got motorcycles. Now we're going to roll into some snowboards. Snowboards next. And All video right. game yeah. stuff here. So, yeah. So, we've been working with Fortnite now for the last uh, basically like year and a half. Yeah. Close um, to two. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been a great client. Uh, they have really smooth kind of process um, yeah they're they're my personal favorite to yeah. work with they just get it you know that's like yeah. the only way i could say it they get it they yeah they care you yeah. know they they're just down to make good art at the end of the day sometimes yeah. it's more of like a, a business transaction where they they care about the art so yeah it makes it easier yeah which is it's cool yeah um so we're going to show here Kemper snowboards, basically. Um, so we built out a style guide. We've done a bunch of them for them. Kemper was given one of our the style guides we designed and basically kind of let loose with, you know, here's the graphics, do what you want with it. So And they flipped it great. You know, sometimes, you know, we do a lot of style guides and you'll see what, you know, people do with the art. And sometimes it's not as good as you would hope. Sometimes mm -hmm. better. But, yeah, Kemper, 
I think the the owner and creator is the designer. Yeah, the OG Jib, guy. Yep, Jib Hunt. So shout um, out to that dude. You, yeah. you did your thing. Everything looks great. The colors alone are fire. You yep. know, we didn't uh, supply the, that color palette. So yep. um, yeah, that alone. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what you're doing. That shit looks good. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, so let's look at some of those graphics. He was... Uh, some of the negative space in those boards is so nice. Like I feel like it sometimes is. it's so easy just to just muddy up that whole thing because you're like hey i'm paying to use you know these assets i want to get my money's worth like <laughs> yeah, fill the shit up well. yeah so it's like little you know risky to just show a little bit of it but it's so much more tasteful like it looks awesome yeah it does kind of that tip or tail yeah nose or tail empty it looks great but let's roll into a couple of these we'll look at them real quick um so this style so what were we calling this? Yeah, we usually do like three or four capsules for them. This one was called Left Hand, yes. um, which is which is perfect. You know, just a good solid black line with any fill color underneath. Yeah. Um, a lot of fun. You, shit, even starting this project, we didn't know Fortnite at all. So since starting it, we've gotten whatever PlayStation, <laughs> whatever here, number yep, here. Yep. We got the game on there. Initially, someone's like, "Yo, you drop in?" I'm like, "Well, no, the ramps at the old." office <laughs> and they're like no you drop in the game so i'm yeah. like oh shit okay you know kind of gotta figure out what that is yeah. yeah so through all that it's it's fun you know it's a super fun game and uh yeah, yeah just to see some of these characters now that i you know we actually get it it's yeah. it's pretty cool so yeah it's cool yeah so this uh pretty much this whole capsule was given to brandon um and he went nuts with it yeah, really cool when one person can own the whole kit. Sometimes, yeah. you know, bandwidth and timing doesn't allow for that, but it just makes a very cohesive kit. You know, yeah. everything looks like it did come from one person because yep. it actually did. Totally. Um, even, yeah, quickly looking at the text here, I'm a big type nerd, so that yeah. Black Knight text, like with the different letter form styles, like that shit's, that shit's really cool. Like, That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, not really, but it's like, is it almost too cool for them? Like, you know, not really, <laughs> but it's, you're like, damn, that's like really good. Like yeah. sometimes we create stuff where I'm like, damn, like we can low key save that for ourselves. Like this shit is just too damn good. Yeah. yeah that type's great. And there was a lot of tight pieces in this. <sighs> same, that were just same thing. That, that condor type, like, yeah. you know, that wobbly O next mm -hmm. to the pixel N, you know, I don't know what the black letter, the second O is black letter. Yeah. That's just, yeah, that's cool. And just the layering of the black line over the color. And, oh, yeah. you know, you just got that one pop of color. That's all you need. It looks you know? great. Even the tone, yeah. that green tone he selected is like, damn, where, yeah. where'd you find that? You know, that's, it's a yeah. nice tone there. And we work a lot on black ground, you know, for some, I mean, we have a lot of clients, yeah. like if it's WWE or whatever, it's just known like whatever you do, show it on black. Um, and depending on the client, like that can make or break that initial kind of Feeling, reaction, you know, yeah. and feedback like, yeah. oh, it feels soft. And it's like, you know what? It probably feels soft because it's on a white ground. Color is know? so important on this stuff. And even, yeah. yeah, when you kick off any of these projects, that's one of the first things we want to know. Is it yeah. black ground or light ground? Like mm -hmm. usually black is black. And then if not black, you can go any other color. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. But you kind of need to set it up if it's going to be on a black ground with all the colors trapped and, you know, yada, yada. But yeah. doing something on white like this is you know especially even the whole guide is on white well yeah. most of it most of it yeah um we don't do that too often and it does sit different and feel different and mm -hmm. yeah it's just a, a cool take on it all yeah that just the use of marker like on this peely one you know marker strokes and texture yeah texture like it's so so fun and then, and then the meowsles like you know characters like this you're like what like a cat and he's buff and and he's buff they, yeah we, the only changes we got on this which were not many were you know make him more buff like <laughs> yeah. you know that we need the veins <laughs> popping and yeah. that bicep needs you know so it's, yeah he's a it's a buff cat you yeah know, random but i love it you know yeah yeah it's cool so we typically like we'll supply a, a large graphic and then a piece of type and an icon for a lot of these characters so that's kind of what Kemper, you know, received to work with. So it makes it easier for the person, you know, buying the license to have pieces to work with. You know, you could yeah. have one cool design, which is awesome. But then when you need to do the front hit, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to physically design that front hit? It's a little more challenging. Yeah. So yeah, when you get these pieces, you have like, you know, your main, you know, cool back hit, and then you have a couple supporting elements. And with that, you could, 
you could blow it out, make whatever, go to town. You know, yeah. if you needed to, you could make your own pattern. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely some good assets there. Yeah. And we did some Dude, patterns. Look at the anatomical <laughs> biceps on these, these muscles here. You know, I mean, what is this cat taking? You know, <laughs> right. And then just the head. Was that the creatine Classic. cat or what? You know, yeah. what is that? That's so funny. Yeah. A lot of the, the type on these, I mean, everything's awesome, but I'm like Brandon really just, yeah. He doesn't do it like, I guess he does type, but he doesn't do it like this style a yeah, lot. It's usually a hand drawn type, like, and yep. like, you know, aggra aggressive. So mm -hmm. it's like, damn, like, uh, you know, we know Brandon's the best, but you're like, damn, yeah, he, he is the best, you yeah. know? So need to get him doing this stuff more often. You know? Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm in, you know, who knows? He may was out of, maybe it was out of his comfort zone. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like he was though. Cause that <laughs> shit looks sick <laughs> for sure. Dude, this tomato head, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> like they have a dude. That is a good one. With a tomato head, you know, running yep. around, yeah. blasting dudes. Yeah. But yeah, it just, fun. it's just random, but yeah. I love it. Yeah. Brandon just made it, you know, just a little bit aggressive and yeah, it's yeah. cool. Even, yeah, the, the quasi graffiti, you know, mm -hmm. bubble letters underneath. So much fun. Fortnite. Look at that E. Like that E is yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So yeah, it was a fun, fun collection, a little bit different style. Um, Brandon killed it. And then of course, Kemper, you know, was able to take it and run with it. So yeah. And I mean, this is kind of like, let's say like on the far left-hand side of the spectrum and we've done other styles that are kind of like some nineties yeah. Hawaiian vibes that are on the far yeah. right side. So we were yeah. able to kind of take their IP and do all these crazy different looks, which is so yeah. much fun and almost like a design flex for us to, yeah. You know, let me give me your character. Well, what do you, how yeah. do you envision him? You know, yep. we exactly. can, we can achieve that. So, yeah. yeah. And sometimes we'll pitch like, Hey, this is, here are some, you know, we'll do mood boards and pitch like, Hey, this is what we think is, is happening right now. And maybe a good style to lean into for the whole guide, you know? So, totally. And yeah. those are the times we can have fun and get a little risky. You know, we could be like, Hey, look, there's this really cool hype beast style. That's that the kids are loving right now. It's not yeah. necessarily for me, but. Yeah. We're noticing this is a big trend right now and at least give them the opportunity to say yes or no. And sometimes they're like, let's do it. And you're like, yeah. oh shit, yeah. that was a Hail Mary and it worked, you know? Exactly. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, it was cool to see, you know, cause we do a lot of style guide work and 90% of the time you don't see where it goes <clears throat> and how it gets used. You yeah. Know? Even, um, even like a lot of times the style guides we do, maybe half of them are like considered core guides so you're yeah. really just like the 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 look is identified yeah it is what it is we just need to continue making new stuff but it yeah. has to live within this box you know yeah where this guide is almost the opposite of that mm -hmm. where it's like yeah don't do what our core look is they probably already have that yeah so like do these fucking off you know tangents and stuff these yeah. different pieces exactly which makes it fun totally you know what i yeah, mean yeah for sure yeah. challenging different yeah yeah, so shout out to Fortnite. Fun fun project working with them and Yeah. Yeah. I've become a fan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They've won me over. Yeah. So check it out. Drop in. Yes, drop in. All right. So we got some new stuff in in the studio here, some new product. So we got uh, some whiskey here, so right? Specifically, yeah, some uh, Lincoln Black Axe whiskey. I mean, I was hoping for a Coors Light collab, but this is second best. <laughs> right. This is yeah. second best. Yeah, this is kind of a, a long time in the making. Um, I went down to Napa Valley about a year and a half ago to Savage and Cook, which is a whiskey distiller down there. This dude, Dave, owns a couple vineyards down there and a couple wine companies. And then over the last, like, five years got into the spirit space and started a whiskey company called savage and cook um super rad facility i'll have uh will pop up some some images because it's in vallejo california but it's on a milit it's an old navy base island and so they bought these like four buildings super rad space um so went down there, spent the day, drank a shit ton of whiskey. We were going to do some work with them. That kind of never panned out, but we kept in touch. And then we collabed on a whiskey for ourselves. So small batch, 72 bottles, uh, just for clients, basically. Which is friends. awesome. I mean, how many design studios have collapsed with brands as the first question? From right. the second question, they like to get actual whiskey bottle made. Yeah. Like that's got to just be pretty rare. I'm just yeah. guessing. Yep. Um, and this is like the fun stuff and this is the stuff that kind of sets us apart from our competitors of like, yeah. you know, 
let's also do collabs for ourselves, you know, yeah. as well as working on collabs for brands, but, yep. um, definitely out of the box, something a little different, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. It's really good. It's 114 proof, which is a little, little strong cast strength, but it's really smooth. I mean, uh, everything from the bottle color, it's like this yep. crazy weird matte black. That's awesome. The shape is just unique. You yeah. know what I mean? The, the, the material of the sticker, mm-hmm. uh, all the little components to it are, are well thought out. Yeah, we could have we could have done a clear bottle like they have a uh, a whiskey with Scotty Pippen uh, from the Bulls that they have with him, and it's in a similar bottle, but it's clear. And I was kind of going back and forth on like like it's good to see the liquor and the the you know basically alcohol inside. You know, it's kind of weird not to like this, but this to me. I was like, there's kind of like this pirate dark vibe to it, you know, when it is almost like a rum. Yeah, it's just um, on brand for who we are. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it just works out. I, I yeah. would say, it, yeah, who, who we are, it's more important to not see the alcohol and just have this yeah. awesome bottle, you know? Yep. I'm even like, I have one at the house. I don't even want to open it. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? I know, like, totally. It just looks yeah. too cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's fun. It's not like it's going to be for sale. We can't sell it. Um, so, it is being sent out to key clients and partnerships. So. Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you want one of these, hit us up, get a project going. Yeah. Or three or four. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you'll get a a whiskey bottle in the mail. If you're lucky. Yeah. So, if not, they're here and we're going to be drinking them. Yeah. (laughs) Come by the office. You can taste it here. Absolutely. So, yeah, shout out to uh, Savage and Cook. Uh, Great partnership. Uh, They did a great job. Like I said, it's super good whiskey. So, hell yeah. Yeah. Stoked on that. Dope to, to land that, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, so what else? So also in the studio. So got some new goodies. Yeah, we got a we got a new tee and a new skateboard here uh, that we made for Designer Con. Uh, skateboards been up on the website for a little bit. T the T is uh, going up here this week. So Hold yeah, on. is this Abe doing a boneless? Abe doing a boneless on an axe skateboard. Who's yes. crazy enough to? come up with this idea this is brandon yep that oh, is brandon's deal right there that's crazy yeah. you've yep. got the knee pads on yeah yeah it's funny it's a good one Love so it. yeah so board uh t also on the t is a new logo Ooh. that we have not talked about yet and we'll sh- have to do that in a different episode have we even sh- showed the world this logo Are we not really maybe on instagram maybe yeah yeah yeah, I think just on, on Lincoln Brand Instagram it's on there. Uh, but we haven't flushed it out. We kind of have a whole little zine book we're, we're working on, all new apparel. So that'll be coming out. And then we'll do a kind of deep dive into to the brandy and that logo and the apparel line and the idea behind it. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Amongst many other things going on. But yeah, that's the yeah. fun stuff. Yep. Yeah. Real, real quick, the colors on this thing. Uh, I was, you know, given this amazing illustration. Yep. Tasked to make a t-shirt design out of it. <clears throat> the colors, though, Brandon really set me up for success here. Just yeah. the red and blue sitting on a green just yep. looks sick. Like, I don't feel like I see that too often. Usually yeah. you're going to do like a more, I don't know, a burgundy and a cream, you yeah. know, but to get a little bit of primary blue and red in there, it just does something fun, you know? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just some new uh, new merch in the shop. We are working on more stuff for uh, the One Moto Show when we're out there. So hell yeah, excited! Yep. I think David's cooking up on it right now. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Hyped so, to see that thing. Yep. Cool. I think that's it. We dug into a bunch of different things here today. Yeah, fun stuff, dude. Yeah, keep him busy. Yep. So yeah, thank you guys for following us. Yeah. Hit those buttons and do the YouTube shit. See y'all next time.